This episode is brought to you by the Let's Code Physics Patreon supporters. So we've seen in a couple videos now the fun that we can have with extrusions in vPython where you can define a 2D shape and just extrude it along any path that you want. A straight path, a curved path, elliptical path, whatever kind of path you want. Um, and it creates a 3D object of your choosing, right? So you get to customize any 3D objects you want. Um, today I want to look at how you can create holes in your extrusion. Um, so we're going to define a couple of shapes here. We're going to define a circle and we're going to define a square. Our square is going to be smaller than our circle. That's going to be important in just a minute. Um, we'll come back to this curved path. We're going to do curving a little bit later. What we're going to do is we're going to make an extrusion with a path just going in a single direction. So we're going to go from the negative Z direction to the positive Z direction. So we're going to come out towards you toward the screen uh, we'll make it a color red and you notice here I'm giving a list for the shapes uh, before when we've done this we just said shape equals a single shape and now I'm listing two shapes what's gonna happen is it's gonna take this first shape as the outer shape as the region to be filled in it's gonna take all the other shapes so anything after the first one it's gonna interpret as holes in the extrusion so it's gonna take this uh, the circular shape, it's going to extrude that, but it's going to leave a square shaped hole in the middle. I'll press Control 2 to run. And here's what you get. So normally, uh, if we didn't include the square, we would have this entire region filled with red. We'd have the entire circular region filled. But because we've specified that square, we specified it as a hole, and so it removes the extrusion from there, or it doesn't fill the extrusion there. So what I can do, I can play around with this shape. For example, I can move it a little bit. Um, so for example, I might uh, use a second square instead. Let's use the square two here, where I'm giving it a position of zero and 1.5, and I'm rotating it. So I'm moving it up and I'm rotating it by pi over four, so 45 degrees. Let's change square into square two. Control two to run. And so you see here I get the square up at the top. So I have both moved it up in the vertical direction and I have rotated it 45 degrees to compare to what it was before. I've also made it smaller so that it can fit in there. And you can do this with multiple shapes. So for example, I can have square and square two. I can list both of those here. Now remember only the first one is gonna be the extruded, the filled region. Everything else is gonna be holes cut out of the filled region. And lo and behold, here we get uh, the shape here. So we get the middle square that's a little bit bigger. We get the uh, smaller square up here that is moved up and rotated. And like I said, you can add as many of these things as you want. So you might, uh, let's say we wanted to fill in the four uh, uh, edges there, or the four cardinal directions. So go square three, four, and five. Uh, let's suppose we put one down a little bit. Put one to the right and put one to the left. So here I'm giving them each a different location. And what I get is, oh, whoops, I actually have to add them to the list, don't I? Square three, square four, square five. All right, now, now what I get is four squares uh, along the, the vertical direction, the horizontal direction there. And of course, you can place them anywhere, anywhere you want. You could, you know, fill in eight of them. You could fill in a hundred of them. Uh, you can even have them overlap. It'll just have, you know, a common uh, a hole there, basically. This will work just as well with a curved path as well. So let's suppose we make a path here. We're going uh, from theta equals zero to theta equals pi over two, plus a little bit just to get a full uh, 90 degree rotation there. Uh, we're going to set up a curved path there. So remember, I can have as many points in the path as I want. I'm going to press control two. Here's the extrusion like we saw before. I get my, my filled area, I get my square, I get my smaller square. And you notice what happens is that as it extrudes that around, it turns the hole around with the extruded area. So you get this neat little uh, curved hallway there in the middle. You get this uh, little curved pipe up here at the top. So anyway, that's how you can uh, provide a little more variety to your extrusions. You could use this for, you know, uh, representing uh, machine parts or something uh, where you want to have a base shape and then you want to cut things out of it. Uh, it's really straightforward to do. You just add more shapes to the list.